Warning, Joseph is not from this realm. Please proceed with caution. <laughs> My voice is deep as shit. What's going on guys? Again, this is your boy Fit to Conquer. Right now I am at an amazing coffee shop here in New York City called El Piccolo. So make sure you check out El Piccolo, great coffee, especially after a phenomenal workout. I'm also here with all-star, all-star trainer, Kenny Santucci. What's up, buddy? It was a very, very generous introduction. <laughs> it's, it's, it's amazing to be here. Um, Kenny's he's beasting out 2020, you know, with everything that's going on, he's been helping people stay fit. And today, you know, we're just gonna really just talk about building as a person, building as a brand, and just helping to inspire people through tough times and stuff like that. So, I mean, whatever you really just have on your heart to just say, and you know, um, everything that you've been doing, because I know you've been doing a lot. Yeah. So the, uh, the harsh reality, I think, of uh, building anything um, that people don't want to say is that it comes from a selfish place. Right? Yeah. For me, it, anything I've ever built, built or anything I've ever done was because I kind of wanted to do it and I enjoy it. Um, it doesn't matter if it's in the fitness space or art or whatever it is. It's something I enjoy and I like. And then other people kind of gravitate towards that and uh, enjoy it as well. Right? Yeah. If somebody says something, you know, there will be two or three people that rally behind it, and then three becomes six, six becomes nine, and whatever, yeah. and so on and so forth. So for me, uh, you know, I started when quarantine first happened in New York. I just couldn't fucking work out in my bar. I did it yeah. for two or three days, and I was just like, this doesn't work for me. So I carried two kettlebells over to the park here. And I just started working out. Um, and people saw me doing it and they were like, hey, could I jump in? Um, I love what I do. I, I obviously clearly want to support other people and you know make people better. But for the most part, it just started for me. Uh, you know, the beauty of invention is necessity. Yeah, right? 100%. And, uh, so for me, it was like, all right, this is what I need to do. And then uh, how do I service other people? Right? I just got done telling a buddy of mine, um, that life, basically, uh, is is like being on an airplane, right? You're cruising through the air, and if the plane's going down, which a lot of times in life yeah, it feels it like it is, yeah. especially now more than ever before, uh, you got to put your mask on first, right? And take care of yourself Literally. so that you can, <laughs> yeah, so that you can service other people. Yeah, um, and that goes for you know how we treat ourselves. You know, you have to make sure your day starts out right and you're taking care of yourself on a daily basis and then you can go out and uh, run the best restaurant, teach the best class, shoot the best videos, whatever it is. But make sure you're taking care of yourself and I think we've lost track of that for a while. And a lot of people are just so money hungry, but it's like, do what you enjoy yeah. and people will gravitate towards it. Yeah, so I mean, so since COVID happened and stuff like that, um, how do you feel people can sort of sort of stare back to becoming more driven into their goals that they set for 2020? Um, like I said, I mean, I think it's going to come out of necessity. Yeah. You know, some people are going to be forced into positions or jobs that they might not necessarily want. I mean, there was a point in the middle of COVID, in the beginning of COVID, I was like, I might just go get a job at Whole Foods. Yeah. Now a lot of people are like, that's crazy. Why would you do that? Well, it allows me to. Uh, you know, work somewhere where I could obviously use the product. I'm sure there's some benefits yeah, to working there. hundred um, percent. But it was something, right? Yeah. Like there were so many people like, there's no jobs. I mean, you could come up with a job tomorrow. You're yeah. fucking 10 year old kids yeah. making millions of dollars on YouTube. You're gonna Honestly, tell me we can't find it, figure out how to make a job or how to make some money here. Yeah. Um, for me, it's just been a grind. You know, I haven't really stopped. I, if I'm teaching classes or doing privates or doing online stuff, you know, in the fitness industry, it's always been, and if you've been doing it long enough, it's always been like a hustling job. Yeah. You know, you have to hustle. There's no point that you get to a point where you can put the car in cruise control and just ride it out. Yeah. It's, it, you're always hustling. But you got to love the grind. And if you don't love the grind and you're looking to kick your feet up one day, it's never going to happen. You gotta yeah. keep pushing, um, and that's with a lot of jobs. And if you're not willing to push, then you're gonna fall behind. Yeah. You know, and just like you were saying, 
I, I said to you, when you were setting up all these cameras and shit, I'm like, shit, this dude really gives a shit. Yeah. You know, he, he wants to push a good product. So, mm -hmm. And that's the most important thing. After you service yourself, now, okay, you say, how do I create the best product possible? What do I need to do? Well, if I'm shooting video, well, I need to get the best cameras, and I need to get a good camera guy, and I need to do it in the right place, and I need to get good. So, it's like anything. you got to put your best foot forward. you got to yeah. create the best product possible. I, I respect that. Now, me being 24 years old and really trying to stay focused on Very my craft, impressive. thank you so much. And, you know, trying to surround myself with people who will not only help me set goals, but also will run with me as well, if that makes sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How, do you, how should I continue to manifest in those areas? Um, I think you're on the right track, and I think it, it's just time will tell. Yeah. Right? Uh, if you're continuing on your journey and you want to surround yourself with the best people, I mean, you are the company you keep. So if you're going to be surrounded by people who are obviously doing things that you admire, yeah. then you're ultimately going to end up in a world, you know, back in the day, I, people would say, oh, how'd you do this? How'd you do that? Yeah. Well, if you don't play in that arena or you're not doing that thing, Right? You say you want to be an actor. Yeah. You're not going and taking acting classes or going on auditions. What the fuck is the likelihood of you becoming an actor? Yeah, Very honestly. Slim, right? Yeah. So it's that thing. I want to be a trainer. Well, if you're not training people, if you're not in the gym every day, yeah, you could be in the gym. If you got your headphones on, you're not bullshitting with people or connecting with people. I mean, it's not what you know, it's who you know. Yeah. Um, so you want to get to know more people and live in that realm and uh, ideally follow those people on mm -hmm. social media or go to events that they're throwing when the world's normal again. Yeah. Um, I mean, that's how it happens, right? A lot of the opportunity I've gotten is because I've spent my vacations or my days off going and doing more work or what yeah. other people consider more work. Um, but I enjoy it, you know? I love going to, I spent most of quarantine getting more certifications and yeah. building more classes and teaching more people. So I think if you're doing that, if you're following the people that you admire and uh, you know doing what they're doing and making it your own, then you, that's your own brand. You I got respect it right that. There. Yeah, I respect that 100%. Um, what else? I mean, what would you? What keeps you motivated? And who also, if you have anybody, who inspires you to keep chasing your dreams and helping people become the best version of themselves? A ton of people. I mean, if there's a guy, you know sweeping up shit across the street and he's got a smile on his face and love what he's doing i admire that mm -hmm. you know i admire anybody who loves what they do and kind of harnesses the uh the good and not the bad it's hard for me because i grew up uh always looking like looking at the glass like it's half empty um and the more i teach myself and try to learn that you could look at life in two ways, half full or half empty, you know, kind of make the best of every situation. I, yeah. I've slowly been teaching myself how to do that better. Um, but for me, I think just staying motivated and looking on the brighter side of things mm -hmm. and finding that in the people that I like or the people around me, then that's that's all I really can do. I mean, there's so many people I admire. I, I love, I mean, just on a surface level, the the Joe Rogans and the Arnold Schwarzeneggers yeah. and people like that are obviously easy to admire, but you know, the people in your everyday life yeah. who love what they do, enjoy what they do, um, those are the people who kind of inspire me. And then my clients, yeah. like I see the hard work that they're putting in. I have to stay one step above because I want to make sure I could continue to service them, yeah. continue to give them, continue to give them the best possible product. Yeah. So that means me working a little bit harder. So. I want to see them do well, so I have to do better myself. Yeah. Um, and there are days when I don't want to work out, but um, I have to do what's best for them and me. Yeah. Uh, and then obviously my family. Like I want to be able to help my family out as much as possible, especially during these times. Nobody knows what's going to happen next. Yeah. So if I could continue to grow and do what I need to do, then I'll have the ability to help them. Yeah. You know, I don't think money makes you happy. Money gives you the ability to make life a little bit easier. Yeah, I respect that. I respect that 100%. And for the final question, sure. um, tell me a little bit more about Stronger New York and 
If you guys um, have seen my video on Instagram of where I was deadlifting my PR 525, that Very was at impressive. his that was at his event. And um, just to sidetrack a little bit, we had met at a Lululemon meet and greet, and from there, literally like maybe yeah. a month later, I, I PR'd a massive, massive weight. Um, but tell me more about Stronger New York and how it pushes people to not only exceed their limits, but to chase after well, their limits. What was your PR before that? 415. 415. Yeah. It's crazy. So you jumped off about 110 pounds? Yeah. Um, I think it's just the environment and the people you surround yeah. yourself with. Uh, you know, I started to travel a lot and meet a lot of great people, coaches, trainers, doctors, nutritionists. Um, and I genuinely become a fan of what they're doing and how they're doing it. And I want to surround myself with those type of people. Yeah. Uh, and I became friendly with them and one thing led to another and I had all these great people and I wanted to create uh, a really cool fitness event in New York City that's not just based on lifting up weights. Obviously that's a major part of the event, yeah. but it's also lifting up other people. And do you have the, abil uh, the opportunity to work out with some of the best in the world? Um, so I wanted to create that experience. I wanted people to come and do all these things within the fitness space. Yeah. Um, you know, lift up weights, but lift up the person next to you as well. Uh, and I think that's some of the feedback that I've gotten the most with. And part of the proceeds we uh, we give away. I've, I've donated in the last four years over fifty thousand dollars to uh, different charities. That's amazing. That support, uh, you know, becoming better. Yeah. Physically. Right? Because that'll help you mentally, emotionally, and everything else. And long term, uh, you know, the my philosophy around the training and doing everything is not just being so good, not PR and deadlifts every day, yeah. but the ability to continue to deadlift for the rest of your life. Yeah. I want people to live a healthier life. Most of the time I see guys, I'm 37. Most guys I knew when I was your age, 24, 25, by 37, they kind of give up on life. Yeah. They say, all right, I'm done. I got a wife. I got a kids. I'm over. Yeah. And then fall into a depression somewhere in their 40s or 50s and fall apart and look like shit and feel like shit. Yeah. If you're not taking care of yourself, if you're not taking care of your vessel, then it's going to fall apart and everything else around you is going to fall apart. Yeah. One of the biggest things that I tell everybody is like, take care of the little things and the big things take care of themselves. If you're taking care of the little things on a daily basis, your teeth, your eyes, your hair, yeah. you know, working out, your family, the little things, right? Yeah. Then everything else falls into place. Yeah. The big things are your health. If you're not taking care of these little things on a daily basis, you get an eye infection, you get what, whatever it is, like yeah. the simplest little things, if you constantly become diligent over time, then you don't have to worry about all these big things. Because there will be big things that happen yeah. over time, but if you've taken care of all those little things, then those big things aren't as big as they could have been. You're right. Um, so that's that's my advice to everybody. But yeah, that's, I mean, Strong New York was a, a big fitness event that yeah. I had earlier. It was, it was phenomenal. Festival. Yeah, we had over 500 phenomenal. people. Um, very cool, but uh, now that the world's kind of in this uh, weird shutdown phase, yeah. I've kind of lateral it over to a uh, fitness brand and doing stuff. Just partnered with uh, Ladder. Ladder uh, team. Yes. So, so I'm doing big stuff. Moves. Yeah. So big I'm doing moves. stuff with them. I got some online programming, but it's more about the philosophies of training yeah. than it is. You know, everybody's doing the same shit. Everybody's doing kettlebell swings and push-ups and yeah. whatever it is. But what's the idea behind it? What What's the driving force? Am I just trying to be a fucking savage in the gym? Yeah. Today and then I'm broken tomorrow, or do I want to become? You know, do I want longevity? Yeah. Do I want to be so physically strong that I strengthen myself and the people around me? And that's kind of the goal. And that's what the message is with Ladder Team, you yeah. know, with my own online stuff, with my classes and everything else. Uh, it's just this kind of continue to move forward and stop looking back so much. That's amazing. Yeah. Well, listen, you're a busy man. I know you yeah. got to get out of here. Yeah. Um, guys, thank you for tuning in. Kenny, my hands are sweating because I'm like... Buddy, I don't think all good. It's, it's, nice it's, it's been amazing, and yeah. I just want to thank you for even giving me the opportunity to continue to, uh, to yeah. chase my dreams. Um, if it wasn't for Stronger New York, I don't know how much I could lift. You know what I'm All saying? Good. But you did a great job. And yeah. you know, I admire you because thank that's you. why I invited you to come take class and stuff. Because I see what you're doing. You're hustling. You're working out. You're doing this stuff. So you know, you're a younger guy. I, 
you know, way older than you are, and I see what you're doing, but I could still admire that. I think yeah. people have these egos that like, oh, well, I've been doing it longer, and I'm better, and I'm this, and I'm that. I see a guy like you, and I'm like, this fucking kid's on it. Yeah, yeah, thank you, you got it. So keep it up. Keep thank up you. the good work. And keep following this guy. He's doing some good <laughs> shit. Yeah, man. Yeah. Guys, thanks for tuning in. Again, my name is Fit I'm here with the amazing Kenny Santucci at El Piccolo Coffee Shop. Guys, like, comment, subscribe, and share. I'm going to see you guys soon. Much love. Hey, yo, Fit.